basically yeah, yeah. one that requests the English to yeah. run Java. That's it. Record. My name is Tom Voden. I'm an associate professor of mathematics. If you're not sure what you want to do with your life or what you want to do with your career or what school has in store for you, this is a really good place to get some experience and use that experience in a risk-free way to figure out what you love. The capstone class is new for this year. I think most students that take this class are interested in engineering. Either they've decided they want to do engineering and they're looking for hands-on experience, uh, which is actually pretty much a requirement nowadays for getting a decent job in the engineering industry. Uh, there's that group of student or there's other group of student which is someone who thinks they might be interested in engineering, they're not necessarily sure if that's the direction they want to go, so this gives them access to, to real hands-on experience that will show them what day-to-day -day work is like. My dream job would be to work um, as a vehicle designer of any sort um, and I think you know just using software such as SolidWorks or AutoCAD um, it just it kind of blows my mind away of, of the potential that all these softwares can provide in the real world. It lets you know whether you like what you're going to work with or not so it's really good to have something that's hands-on experience because then you want to know if you're going to work with that in the future or not. Um, I noticed it was a problem that a lot of the classes were more um, academic based and there wasn't a lot of an opportunity to get a hands-on um, application. So taking courses such as electronics or this um, robotics 3D printer course really helps in you understanding that. You learn in many different areas how engineering courses work, also in not only your major but also through electronics, mechanical and software, so it's group work. Where, wherever you go, it'll be always group work, so learning for the social skills and how to work in groups is very helpful. So in this job, I've had a uh, really interesting fortune to work with some younger kids, some middle school kids, some high school kids. And the beautiful thing about them is they're, they're very honest. They don't hold back. They don't have ego like an adult does. And you ask them, have you ever thought about a career in engineering? And they'll tell you point blank, sure, I thought about it. Too much math, though, I'm not doing it. And to a person like me, a math teacher, that's heartbreak. And so what we hope this program does is allow students to engage in the practicality and the joy of exploring and learning and creating and making things that will, uh, in a certain sense, flank them into appreciating and utilizing and learning things like mathematics and physics which are traditionally in many of their minds um, totally impenetrable or put them off in a very strong way. So we hope that these projects um, allow students to pursue their passions, pursue their curiosities, um, have an entry point for a student regardless of their past training. I don't want to say go take a math placement test and then I'll let you in. I want to say do you think this is cool? We have a home for you. Uh, and, and we're offering um, a variety of entry points with that in mind.